so the winter stories, scarily enough, I actually started writing 10 years ago, it must be 11, 11 years ago, I suppose, um, The Snow Bear, the first of the winter stories books, is having its 10th anniversary this year, which is, I, I can't believe it's it's 10 years ago. So The Snow Bear came from my love of polar bears. The, um, the toy I had growing up, my favourite toy, was a polar bear glove puppet, which as a imaginative four-year-old I called Polar. Although Polar is actually Polar number two because Polar number one um, got left in a restaurant in France a couple of months after I got him and I was so devastated that my parents had to go and buy me a replacement. Um, and every so often when you see dustbin lorries with teddy bears stuck on the front of them, um, I have this moment where I imagine that Polar One is somewhere in France stuck on the front of a dustbin lorry and it, it breaks my heart. I really wanted to write a polar bear book, but I also wanted to write a book that had a, a sort of magical quality to it, something something mysterious. Polar bears, because they're so big, and I think there's something about them being white, they look, they look unreal, I've always thought. They always look a bit like a, a fantasy creature. And so this, this book is about a girl who travels through snow. She, she, she and her grandfather build an igloo and she falls asleep in it. And when she wakes up, the igloo is somewhere completely um, other. And she's, she's traveled to the Arctic and she meets a snow bear, a tiny bear cub who's somehow become separated from his mother. And she and the bear cub, who she calls Peter, have to travel through the snow to try and find Peter's mother. Most of my winter books either have a, a time slip element or um, just a travel element, a, a magical travel element where the child in the story ends up um, in, the, in the place where the, where the animal they're thinking about or they found out about is living. And they often also have a, um, an ecological element where the child has discovered that the animal's in danger often from humans um, and and is working the child ends up working to try and make things better for that particular animal